earth round or flat. You may not think it matters when it comes to just making maps online, but I'm here to tell you it does. And that's why we got to use turf, so let's go. Okay, so today we're going to use turf.area. Why do we got to use turf.area? Can't we just use like other math, like simple math to figure out area? And I'm here to tell you, it's probably not a good idea. And turf is all about spatial analysis on the actual earth, which they say is round. We're going to be using turf.area to figure out the area of a circle on the earth's surface. Now the thing is, turf isn't going to be perfect. It's going to get us a lot of the way there, but the earth is a strange, strange object. The earth is actually irregularly shaped. It's not even spherical. So turf isn't going to get us all the way to a perfect measurement, but we're going to see why it's different. And again, one of the reasons why you got to use turf when you're doing spatial analysis and not just try to measure things with simple math. So let's get into it. First thing we're going to do, we're going to fire up a little map. We're using Map Libra just for the sake of displaying this. I always go to my display a map example, copy this, drop it into some code. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to uh, integrate turf. So we're going to go to the turf homepage and we're going to include our script using the script tag. And now we got turf and we got mapping and we're good to go. So what we're going to do to measure this, we're going to look at a point on our Mercator map, which by the way is a flat map. So if we're talking about flat earth, we look at the flat earth every day, but we suppose it's actually round. And that's a whole world of projection. I'm sure you've heard of it. If you haven't, uh, it's a lot to dig into. But we got a flat map, we got a round earth, and we got to measure things. So we're going to have a couple different measurements. We're going to have a measurement at what we call Null Island, which is 0, 0, the coordinate 0, 0. And we're going to have a measurement up here in Yellowknife in Canada, same size circle. And we're going to measure this using pi r squared, which is our, you know, math that we learned in grade school of how to measure the area of a circle. And then we're going to use turf to measure it as well. So let's jump into it. The code isn't going to be that hard, but we got to get over these concepts and the concepts are important. So uh, here we are in our code. Here's our null island coordinates. There's our yellow knife coordinates. Just search these up. We're going with a radius of 50. We're going to be making a circle out of them. Uh, and then that circle we're going to use to make a polygon. And then we're going to measure the area of that polygon using turf. Uh, so our circle is going to be 50 kilometers. That's just the default size. If you go to turf and you look at circle, you can see you can give it a center. You can give it a radius, which in default is kilometers, but it can be different things. And it'll pop out a circle. Uh, you can also give it the number of steps. This is really valuable if you need to make a more perfect circle. Obviously, a circle has an infinite number of points, but uh, you can approximate it pretty closely with just having enough points to fit your use case. So here we are. We generate our two circles. We generate one for Null Island and one for Yellowknife. So let's first of all just drop them on the map. You can see I've put a, a source and a layer for uh, the Null Island and a source and a layer for Yellowknife. Let's go look at them and let's see what's going on on our flat map of the round Earth. So here we are with our Null Island circle. Great. And here we are with our Yellowknife circle. Now, it's very noticeable that they are different sizes uh, visually. So they are the same size when measured, but they are different visually. And this is because of the Mercator projection, which makes uh, latitudes at the northern and southern uh, parts of the map bigger. So this is one of the reasons you can't use just plain coordinates to do measurements. You can't just take the difference between two coordinates and multiply them by some static number because a coordinate uh, in the Mercator projection is a different amount of distance at different parts of the world. So you got to be really careful and one of the reasons why doing math when it comes to geospatial stuff can be real tricky. So that's visually important to know. Now let's go ahead and let's do our measurements. So based on this, we can go, we have pi r squared, which is just the area of a circle. So if we get our radius and we do uh, <clears throat> pi area with the radius in square meters squared, and then we're going to do just turf dot area based on these two circles that we made. And then we're going to come up with the area in square kilometers by dividing and we'll get out in square kilometers. So if we pop open, our example here and look at it, we can see there's a bunch of measurements here. We'll go over those in a second. Our important ones are right down here. So 
a, rate, a circle with a radius of 50 kilometers on a flat surface is going to be 7,853.9 or whatever uh, kilometers squared, according to pi r squared. But according to turf, we're going to have a different number. And you can see it's actually slightly different at different parts of the world. And this could be due to a couple things. I don't 100% know if that's because it's taking into, into account the ellipsoidal nature of the Earth and that it's not a perfect sphere, or if it's a thing with how turf calculated the polygons in the first place, and that maybe it's more precise in one area than another due to the coordinates, blah, 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 blah. It's a very small difference, not super noticeable, but it's important to know that this, these, this is a fairly noticeable difference, five square kilometers difference between pi r squared and our various turf methods, and even between the turf methods, they're different. This is stuff you don't want to have to do yourself if you're trying to do this math. Now, that pretty much gives us all we need to know for this video, but just to give you a, a little bit more information on why, where you might use turf area, I've just done some polygon generation as well. Normally, all this area stuff you, you can do in a lot of other geospatial applications, ArcGIS, QGIS. A lot of times when they pump out a shapefile, the area in meters, square meters or whatever is included by default, but you can measure it fairly easily with turf. These are our areas, and here's a whole bunch of measurements that have come out of turf.area, and you just need to convert it to get the units you want. So that's pretty much turf.area. We're on to the next one. I think we've answered the question of should you use turf? when it comes to using around Earth.